Hello and welcome back to Video Code. In this video, we're going to look at creating a logo. Uh, I just want to show you how to quickly and easy create a good a good logo. Uh, it all starts with the logo. Once you have a color scheme and a logo, we can begin. The color scheme gives you your branding. It gives you your pages, your font colors, graphics, everything. Then, then when we have that, we can animate the logo. This then becomes a professional touch to every video we create, but it all starts with a clean, modern logo and a color scheme you can move forward with. So let's go over the shoulder and look at this in more detail. Okay, so here we are over on at uh, Canva. Now, to be straight up with you now, this is the very, very first little aspect of, the, of the, this entire course that I'm doing right now. I haven't created the logo. Everything that you see, that you saw on the opt-in page when you got this course, um, none of it exists at this point. This is the very, even the slides that you've just seen, I haven't made those slides yet. And the reason why is because I'm going to create this course over the, entirely over the shoulder so you could see exactly how I would tr create something like a training a training course um, from scratch and the very first thing that you need to work that you need to work on is the um, is the, the the logo obviously because you need that you need to be able to animate the logo you need to be able to make your slides you need to get your color codes how your videos are going to look everything to do with your marketing starts with the logo so the, one of the um, one of the websites that I use for my color um, coordination my sort of color palette things if you like uh, it's called coolers.co so the very first thing that we're going to do now I am making this for the video code so the program that you're watching right now, video code. So I need a logo to start and I need obviously um, a color scheme to match that. So I'm going to just play around with some colors first and then we'll look at creating the logo. Now, as you also know, um, you are going to need probably the full, the full Adobe suite is probably your best bet. If you don't want that, that um, you're going to need at least Premiere Pro. We've already discussed this in the intro video, uh, which again I've not made yet, but I've got it written down exactly what I'm going to be, how I'm going to be teaching this. And you are going to need, you are going to want to use the Adobe Suite and an Envato Element subscription. And I'm uh, hopefully in the intro video, I've already covered exactly how you can recoup your money back by getting that and why it's such a good investment. So let's look at creating a logo first. So click on logo. Now I'm going to keep this very basic, very simple. Um, I'm just going to show you. So look for something that's got like sort of a font that you like first. Let's start with, I quite like, I quite like this font here. I quite like this one. Um, because it's called the video code, I'm going to make it sort of science based, like the theme of everything's going to be sort of science, like, you know, like um, chemistry, sort of chemistry code, that kind of stuff. Um, so I'm going to keep it themed like that. So let's look up just the font that I like first. I like this one too. I like this one. I like this one. Let's go with this one. It's a little bit retro. So I'm going to go with this one. Color schemes. Now, all you do is with this is you hit spacebar and it will generate a color scheme. And when you find a color that you like, you lock that one. So I like this lock this one, and then you can hit again, and it will bring you together another another scheme by locking one. So let's I like this one. I quite like this one as well, but I'm not a big fan of the um, the reds. So let's get rid of those. That's quite good. I like this. Let's lock that. Okay, I like this. So there you go. Now I've got the codes. I've got the codes that I need. So we go back over here. Now, you, you want to save this as well also. So there's a, I believe there's a way you can export it. So let's export it as, um, I don't want a PDF. If we save, where will we save? I'm not, I'm not got my account open. Well, we can, use, we can just take them anyway. So let's, let's, let's just create a, a text file. Okay, so we'll create a text file. Okay, so color scheme for video code. So we've got okay, it's not letting me take that for some reason, don't know why. We don't really need it anyway. So we got this one. Then we've got this 
one. Then we've got why it's done that capital because it doesn't capital E. Take that one. Take that one. Just copy and paste them all in. As you can see, I'm doing this all this completely over the shoulder. So, you know, this is how the whole course is going to be, but like, this is how it needs to be. Okay, so let's take our first color scheme and let's just take make that the background for the start. In fact, no, let's get rid of this. So we want a new icon. So then we come over to elements and we can search for something. Search for science. Okay, some of these are pretty good. These are all free. Then we start getting into the paid ones. Now, obviously, you will also already have your Envato elements, so we can look for we can look for um, color schemes and um, uh, icons and stuff in there also. So let's browse. Let's look for graphics templates. Let's look for not sorry graphics icons, and then we we'll search science. Okay, nothing showing there for science. Let, oh, I've just got to spell it wrong. Okay, lots of good ones here. So, go for a colour scheme, colour that matches somewhere, somewhere close to one of the colours that we've got. Quite like these ones here. I like these ones as well. Um, okay, let's go for I want something very easy and sort of easy to remember. I like these ones. Okay, let's go with I'm gonna go with this one here. I'm gonna go with this. Okay, so we download that. Let's create a new product, a uh, new um, project, video code, create project, video code, add and download. So that'll be downloading now. Okay. Save that to our project folder on our computer. So let's go back to video code that will create a new folder here called uh, images. And then I'll change the uh, video code icons. Save that. Okay, let's, let's locate that. And then we'll extract it. Okay, good. So we've got all that where we need it now. Then go back over here, go to uploads, upload the image or video. Let's go back to our PNGs. So I'm assuming these are sizes. Let's go 88 for now. Um, Hoping these are transparent backgrounds. I like this one. It should be, but anyway, don't worry about that. I'm going to show you how to do that in Photoshop. Let's get rid of that. Let's change this to video code. Get rid of this. Get rid of the whole thing. Okay. Let's hold shift and expand. Okay, hopefully it's not that quality up. Okay, hopefully that's decent quality. Um, now, I can't change the colour of that, but I can change the colour of this. Okay, now you could change that colour in Photoshop. Um, I'm going to deal with that. In fact, let's let me, while I'm just doing this, let's open up Photoshop. Um, Okay, so, because we, we can actually replace that colour. Let's get one of our colours from here again. So we'll take that one as we already did, and let's change the text colour to that. New colour, and then put the colour in there. So there you go, it's got that colour now. Change that to that. You can't really see it very well. Um, let's go. Let's change the background again. Let's change the background to one of the other colours. 
change that. Change background. Fill a color in. New color. Paste. There we go. So it's starting to shape up now, as you can see. It's starting to get like that. Now these other colors that we want, we can pick one for our icon. Do you want that there? Or... Okay, so I've actually replaced um, the with this with a larger one. So I took the, the from the one seven six package, um, so that it, it's a better, better quality one. So essentially, hang on, let me move that down. So essentially, that is my logo. That is my logo now complete. Now, obviously, I want to now take this into Photoshop and remove the background, move, remove the background because I need the background removed for the animation that I'm going to do a bit later on. Um, but this is a logo that I could use on anything else. So when I download this, I could use this on for say my colouring on my slides or anything else, my logo on any websites that I was using. Um, and you've got the colour codes for your colour scheme, you've got your logo finished, and that was it. That's as, that's as simple as that. Um, now I'm also going to just quickly um, save this, save this to uh, images, uh, complete logo. I'll put that in here. Okay, so that's my logo. So now when I come into Photoshop, what I want to do is I want to open and I want to bring this, that logo that I've just created in here and remove the background, make it transparent basically. So you simply open it up into Photoshop and then we take our magic wand tool Just get rid of that one. Okay, now I'm going to crop around it. So I'll just get a crop tool here. I selected that. Okay. All right, so hang on. You see, sometimes you need to go back a little bit like that. Okay, so then we go back to the magic wand, magic wand tool, get rid of that center, get rid of that center. Okay, now we truly are done. Okay. I don't okay, so I don't know why it's why it started so small like that. There's obviously some strange reason that I don't know about, but there you go. We want to get up close to it so we've got the proper logo exactly. It'll snap to the edges like that. Okay, good. And then we hit that. Now we've got our full logo transparent so that we can use it in our animation later. So then we save this, go to export. Export as transparent logo. And that's it, it's done. So that's it for this video. We've made a logo, we've got our colour scheme, um, we've made a logo transparent, and that's all we want for this video. We can move on to animation in the next. Okay, thanks a lot for watching this. See you in the next video.